Howdy, y'all. My name is Price. I'm coming at you with some to do today. Now, this is a visual novel made for the Nano Reno uh, Game Jam, which is a game jam where people basically get one month to attempt to make uh, a full visual novel game. And I saw this on Itch, and I was intrigued. I don't play a lot of visual novels, but I have played a few in the past. But I thought, why not give it a shot uh, as our random something that we play on a Saturday? The artwork looked great and, and interesting and different, so I thought, let's uh, let's give it a go. So. Let's jump into it. Don't know much else about it. This isn't how it was supposed to go. I was doing fine with my part-time job, all while trying to find something better. Well, maybe I wasn't always as diligent of a worker as I could have been. But it was fine, and, well, now it's not. Sometime last week, my laptop broke. It was old, maybe not exactly the best, but I really liked it. Now I have to get it fixed with money I need to pay my rent. This is a nightmare. And I don't know if I can earn enough before the month's over. March 3rd, afternoon. Yeah, see, this is cute. I love this art style. Okay, I'm not sure what it is you did, but you sure gave me a workout here. Even besides all the dust, there's barely anything in there I didn't have to fix. It's been a while since I last had the pleasure to fix an ancient relic like this. Me? Mm. So, um, does it work again? I kind of need that laptop. Yes, splendidly! Like it was freshly manufactured in 2006. It's not that old. Anyway, can I have it back, please? I can hardly spare the money, to be honest. Aw, oh, man, sorry to hear that. Been there, done that. Got the everlasting fear of using up the buffer you leave on your bank account for good measure. Can't give you a discount, though. I don't expect one. Good. You can call me Zen. W what? Zen, my name. Why are you... You seem like a nice person. I always introduce myself to nice people. Don't you? Eh. Uh, and because you should always help people in need, here, take this flyer. I'm not buying anything. You're not supposed to. It's a test program by one of our partner companies. You take part, write weekly reports, and get some money in return. Nothing to lose, really. And you get 100C without even doing all that much. I'm just going to call that C. I don't know what that symbol is. Is that Yen? Uh, let's see. That sounds fishy. Is this someone, something you ask everyone? I'll take the flyer. I can't be picky, honestly. 100? Just like that? I'll take the flyer. <laughs> really? I mean, sure, take it. <laughs> I'm not completely convinced, but 100 sounds good to me. Or is it, I don't know, is it Euro? I don't know what that symbol is. <laughs> as long as I'm not testing some questionable medicine. Don't worry, no suspicious substances involved. Just testing some software. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, no, I don't think so. Thanks for fixing my laptop. Sure thing. Thanks for your patronage. Come again if you have any more problems. Thanks, Zen. Appreciate you. Finally home. I mean, I'm grateful that he fixed my computer, but man, that was tiring. I guess I'll check everything works again. Oh, right, the flyer. Uh, maybe I should apply to this program before I do anything else. Let's see... To take part in the test program, just follow the link above and fill in all required information. As soon as one of our employees processes your application, you'll be sent all the necessary files. Sounds simple enough, but still pretty vague. Uh, what exactly am I going to do? Who cares? Money's money. So, what do they want here? First off, my name. Easy enough. Teal. I guess Teal's the default name. We'll be Teal. Teal. Next up, pronouns. He, him. Uh, so they don't just ask gender. Huh. Or he, him. Okay, and finally, romantic and sexual preferences. Intrusive much? Oh, whatever. Uh, let's get this over with. Uh, alrighty, let's review it one more time before sending it off. Teal, pronouns he, him, attracted to women. Uh, send it off. Let's do it. Teal. Thanks for your interest in our program. We will reply to your application shortly. This is me, huh? All right, cool. I like my hair. Cool like that. Our program? <sighs> I'm still not convinced this is legit. Well, there's a brief description of the responsibilities, but it still doesn't shine light on anything. Evaluate the performance of our software. Review its usefulness and adaptability. Give feedback on visual appearance and customization. Okay, sure, but uh, what does the software do? Is it really that hard to give people some details? Whatever. If I really get the money, I don't really care. Uh, I won't know if it'll work out before next week, though. 
God, I have my laptop back, but this weekend could have started so much better. I'm 700 bucks short of what I need by the end of the month. It's basically my whole rent. Unless I work a lot more than I normally do, my part-time job will definitely not cut it. I mean, the pay's all right, but it's still just a small bookstore. They won't have more funds just because I pitch in more often every week. I can't help it. I won't be able to do anything about this before Monday, so pff, might as well try to relax this weekend. With the possibility of eviction looming over my head. <laughs> Should I call my landlord? Uh, maybe some other time. <sighs> and the month has only just begun, too. That's actually a good thing, isn't it? But I still kind of feel like going to bed and not getting up again until I'm dragged out of here by force. No, seriously, do something fun, please. This is going to be stressful enough as it is. Play some video games, eat dinner and go to bed, go grocery shopping. I can't go grocery shopping, I got no monies. Let's uh, play some video games. Now then, how do I spend the evening? Doing what I always do. Video games sound pretty great right about now. My guild probably wonders where I've been anyway. I mean, I haven't played daily for over a year now, but it's been a while since I took off a whole week. Granted, most of it wasn't intentional, but how should they know? Titan Watch Online, a dystopian MMORPG about hunting, survival, and huge-ass monsters. That's how they're advertising it. Well, sort of. I'm paraphrasing. It's old, but there's still lots you can do. The devs are constantly putting out new content, and I'd say it aged fairly well. There's a really nice guild system. You have a lot of freedom with how you structure your guild and its internal hierarchy. So once your group has reached a certain size, it starts to feel like you're part of your own little society. On top of that, you can build your own camps and have some impact on the whole world as a result. The biggest guilds even have multiple camps that each feel like they're cities of their own. Conquer, defend, and prosper in this dying land. The whole shebang. When there weren't many updates, there was actually a period of time where people just fought for ground to expand their guild. It was fun while it lasted, but I still prefer the actual core gameplay. Which is combat with a focus on hunting gigantic creatures. I've landed a pretty good spot in one of the better guilds, before it became popular even. It's not like I'm one of the pros, but you could say I have some experience. Are we talking to somebody or are we just talking to ourselves? Like, we, this is like a long conversation in my head right now, I think. Anyway, let's just log on. Username, HaterKex. Not a chance. Uh, how about Scrumpy? I think that's a great name. Password is going to be Password. Welcome to Titan Watch Online, Scrumpy. Ah, oh, yeah, this is nice. I think I need this right now. I mean, distracting myself maybe isn't the adult thing to do, but who cares? Scrumpy has entered the chat. <laughs> Ex Machina. Yo, look who's back from the dead! Scrumpy! I missed you, man! Hey, guys. It's been lonely without you. <laughs> X is unbearable when you're not around. What? Speak for yourself, Suge! You've been all well, when will he be back? All week long. What? He's awesome! Heart. No homo. Oh, come on. Yeah, I roll. Sometimes I wonder why we're friends. <gasps> <sighs> I see it's lively as ever. You have no idea. Today is actually pretty quiet, to be honest. That's because I'm here. Am I switching their names? I'm, switch I'm switching their voices, I think. That's because I'm here. <laughs> no. Ooh. So what's up tonight? You guys want to try one of the new Titan missions? Yes. No, sorry. Need to leave it a few. Aw, oh, man. Way to ruin the party. We go for an arena quest? Just us two, then. We could still do it. Um, Let's do an arena quest, if, that, if we can all three do it. Oh, I just realized, look at the outside here. So this game is currently in the process of still being finished, polished, and made. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like, this is placeholder art, uh, and then they're gonna fill this out to make it look more uh, like the in-game that they're trying to uh, make it. Let's do an arena quest. Well, if it's just us, we could go for the arena. Need some more materials for my armor. You got it! But I've already been grinding all week. Mm. Oh, well, if you wanna do something else. Nah, it's all right, I'm happy you're back. What about his back? Ooh. Just leave already! If you insist. Hmm. But seriously, I need to go anyway. Bye. It's nice seeing you again, Scrumpy. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Hmm. 
Ex Machina has left the chat. All right, let's get cracking, man! Sure, let's! We ended up playing until past midnight. I enjoyed it. Suge is always fun to hang around. But I still couldn't really concentrate. Couldn't shake the feeling that I was running away. Maybe it was still better than contemplating all this without any distractions. I felt horrible after logging out, though. Everything suddenly sank in again at once. I practically have no money. I only have a part-time job. And I may as well not have a place to live at anymore in this month. Um, why does it have to be like this? It's rough, man. It's rough. March 4th. Noon. Deal. Ugh. This doesn't matter when I go to bed. Still wake up around this time. Yesterday was weird. I think I overreacted. Well, the situation really isn't great, but there's no reason to fall into an existential crisis just like that. I have to think about how I want to handle this. I'm working at my part-time job two times a week, including last Thursday. That's nine times total until the end of the month. With my hourly wage and the hours I'm working, that's roughly 540 monies. Damn it, how did I ever make enough money in the first place? Pretty sure I'll be able to work more often, though. Still, I should look for a plan B. Or at least a second source of income. I can finally finish up my portfolio! Actually, even if I finish it, I won't land a job and get paid in just this one month. Don't go to art school, they said. This hits too close to home. You'll only end up working in coffee shops while trying to pay off your student loans. Oh, how I sneered at them. I wouldn't call it arrogance, but I still didn't want to believe their art isn't a real job attitude. I mean, all things considered, they're still not correct. It's not a coffee shop, and I'm not working there to pay off my loan. But I'm not working as an artist, either. Maybe I should try again. But I don't want to take any risks in a situation like this. And how are my chances after not graduating, anyway? Well, before I do anything else, I should probably take a shower and eat something. So yeah, when I first went to college, I was an art student. That, uh, that was rough. In the end, I was only stuck in front of my computer again. I ate a late breakfast while browsing social media until the updates subsided. Didn't feel as depressed as last night, but my motivation was basically non-existent. This feeling of wanting to do something, but not having the energy or creativity to actually do it, it's been all too prominent these last two years. That's actually the main reason I started working at the bookstore. I just didn't feel like I was able to achieve any of my dreams the way I was, so I wanted some time to figure things out. And time passed, but I didn't get closer to any answers. I still want to be an artist, and I know I won't just magically get better without putting in the work, but it's hard to keep moving without any encouragement. Still, it feels sad to think that I can't achieve my dream without others backing me up. Yikes. It's rough. It's rough. That sounds like depression, honestly. Um, I should put on some pants. As tempting as it is to just stay like this all day, I won't ever get in a different mindset if I might as well have just gotten out of bed. I mean, to be fair, I kind of did. But it's afternoon. I can't turn full-on nocturnal again with work around the corner. Maybe I should try to find some ways to make money. Or I can make the most of the weekend while it lasts and play some games. Let's look for work. Let's be responsible. Might as well. I'll probably feel better if I do at least one productive thing today. But what do I even search for? How to quickly make a lot of money. That'll probably only get me spam, adware, and who knows what else. I'm not sure a second part-time job would be ideal either. I mean, if I want to work more often at the bookstore, I'd have to, what, one or two days of the week left? <sighs> I'd either have to be something after my current job or freelance work. But getting my current job was already a pain. I guess I'll look if there are any job offers for freelance artists that could work out. Never know. Got to look. There were none. Now we know. Either the pay was bad, the expectations unreasonable, or the time frame too long, ironically. All in all, I found three jobs that I could be done with, uh, let's see. All in all, I only found three jobs that I could be done with before the end of March. To say they weren't exactly appealing would be a massive understatement. I was desperate, but not quite that desperate yet. In the end, it left me feeling frustrated. I spent several hours browsing all kinds of websites with varying degrees of trustworthiness, and in the end, it didn't get me anywhere. It killed time and gave me a headache, but it didn't bring me closer to the solution. Well, this sucks. Really hope this test program thingy works out. <laughs> Those hundred monies start to sound more and more appealing. Is there really nothing else I can do? Ugh, I should have moved to a bigger city. 
or actually that would mean more people who need jobs too wouldn't it Ugh. I really just need to work more and I'll be fine I should do the math on that shouldn't I well I guess there's still tomorrow for that I'm done hitting my head against these problems for now So, after a rather uneventful evening, I went to bed feeling slightly uneasy. It seemed like the floor was slowly slipping away under my feet. But the feeling that made this worse was the presumption that now was the only time where I could prevent that from happening. March 6th, morning. Okay. All right, some more placeholder art for the bookstore. Cool. Sunday was pretty uneventful. Thinking back, I'm not even sure how time passed so fast with me doing so little. But as usual, the weekend was over much too quickly. I've really had a bad mindset these last few days. I always get lost in negativity so easily. Maybe work will help pull me out of that. Miss Card over. Teal, dear, you're so early today. Did something happen? W what? I'm not that much earlier. So, did something happen? Well, it's nothing big, but I'm in a slight pinch right now. Oh no, what happened? Uh, I had to get my computer fixed, and now I probably won't have enough money to pay rent. In what world is that nothing big, Teal? You really have to do something about that. I know, I know. I'm working on it. As much as I'd like, I can't pay you any more than I already do. I am sorry. D don't worry, that's fine. I don't expect a raise. But I thought about maybe working a little more frequently, if that's okay. Sure! Since Rebecca moved away, we've been pretty understaffed anyway. I'll call you when there's an open shift during your off days. Thanks, I appreciate it. Is Snow here today? Yes, they're reading in the back as usual. I'm not sure what I'll do with that child. It's fine to be timid, but it can't be good to be for yourself all day. <laughs> yeah. And to stay here in the bookstore all the time? It's not that I mind, but sometimes I wonder if they're okay. You two seem to get along well, but there aren't many people Snow talks to so easily. Hmm, I don't know. It was pretty awkward when I first started here, but I guess eventually they open up to others? Maybe it helps that I'm kind of an introvert myself. Well, I'll leave the shop to you now. I still haven't quite finished taking stock yet. Maybe I can get Snow to help me. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thanks! I'll be in the back if you need anything. Alrighty. Monday mornings are usually pretty relaxed, so today shouldn't be too bad. Most of the time there's not even a customer in the first half. Oh, never mind. Welcome to Card of a Books. How can I help you? Oh, uh, I'm just looking around. Thanks. All right. Guess I'm just inconspicuously watching you stroll through the shop then. <laughs> Actually, since you asked, do you have books about animals? Sure. What kind do you need? I'm looking for a present for my niece, and she's really into reptiles right now. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we have a few about domestically held reptiles, and some more academic books if that would work too. Which kinds of reptiles is she most interested in? Snakes, bearded dragons, iguanas, frogs. Not a reptile. Ah, I believe those are amphibians. No, no, I'm pretty sure they're reptiles. Uh, why does it have to start with a difficult one already? How old is your niece? Seven. Okay, well, if she's into frogs, I'd recommend... Uh, she's seven. Pond Dweller is an illustrated guide, I'd say. Yeah. This one has a lot of photos and illustrations of all kinds of creatures. So, it's not just about frogs, but they take up a good portion of the book. Oh, this looks nice. It's informative too, I assume? Yes! Probably not like an encyclopedia, but I think it covers a lot of basic knowledge. Alright, i take this one then. Good! That makes $12.99 then. Thanks for your patronage. Please come again. Well, that was tiring. Good morning! No time for breaks, I guess. Ah! Good morning, Ms. Pendergast! I see you're working again today, to you. Yes, every Monday and Thursday. Although I might be working a little more often this month. Oh, you are? Then I'll make sure to come around, too. No, wait. I will still have to finish a book first. <laughs> well, you know where to find me. Is there anything you can recommend me today? Recommend me today? I just finished the book I bought last week. Hmm. Is there a certain genre you'd like to read? Something exciting, please. Let's see. Uh, Miss Pendergast... Not gonna lie, sounds like an older lady. Maybe she'd be interested in a romance novel. There is a romance novel that's been getting a lot of attention recently. 
Sounds like it's a little explicit at times, but this one seems definitely exciting, I think. Uh, oh my, Teal! It has certainly been a while since I last read something like this. This will definitely be a change of pace. I'll take it! All right, is that all you want, or can I get you something else, too? Uh, no, no, this is fine. I'll just come again when I'm done with this one. All right, that makes $9.99, then. Here you go. And a little extra for you, Teal. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to take tips. It's not a tip, just get yourself some ice cream on the way home. Th thank you, Miss Prendergast. <laughs> I know she won't take a no. Guess I'll oblige, then. Have a nice day, Teal. You too, Miss Prendergast. Well, I guess I'll take my break now. Boop, 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 ba -doop. The rest of the day was fairly uneventful. Well, it was still busy at times, but nothing out of the ordinary happened. Oh, and that's it. Man, I'm tired. I mean, technically it's not even that difficult of a job, but it somehow still wears you out. At least, it seems like I can get some extra time at the bookstore. If I earn 60 per day, I might actually be able to make it. Except I already went grocery shopping today, so it still doesn't look bright. All right, it's Monday. Theoretically, I could have already gotten a reply from the test thingy, but I doubt... Okay, never mind. They actually answered already. Thank you for your application. After verifying your data and comparing it to other applicants, we decided to let you take part in our program. Please log into our site with the following credentials and install the provided files. Ugh. Normally, you'd never install dubious software from people you don't know. This company seems to be real and more or less trustworthy. All right. Apparently, I'll get the money after my first report, so I guess I don't have a choice. Let's install this and... Wait. Why is it... No, 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 no. Self-installing software can't be good, right? Ugh. Okay. Everything's still running. There's no pop-up window asking me to pay money in exchange for my files, so maybe it was just a questionable design decision. <laughs> I assure you, none of my design decisions are questionable. Ah! W what Who? Nice to meet you, Teal. I'm Joyce. Oh dear, it knows my name? Excuse me, I'm a fully-fledged person. Uh, why are you inside my computer? Because you agreed to be part of my closed beta, of course. You are the software I'm supposed to test? Oh god, that sounds so wrong. Why, yes, although I prefer to be called AI. So are you actually an artificial intelligence or just a program pretending to be one? I'm genuine. Although, I do have a rather specific purpose. You don't say. So what am I supposed to do? I didn't sign up to babysit a virtual person. I'll have you know that I can very much take care of myself. And actually, I'm supposed to babysit you. What? Well, that might have been the best way to say it. What I mean is that I'm here to take care of your needs and make sure you're feeling well. Think of me as your virtual maid. Is this really happening? So you say, but how am I supposed to imagine your work? I'm here for you. Emotional support, well thought out advice. I can even do online shopping for you. Uh, I'm not giving you my bank details if that's what you're after. I still have to earn your trust, huh? Well, I can assure you that I only have your well-being in mind. Okay, but what's in it for you? If you're actually intelligent, why would you be complacent just serving someone else? Hmm... All right, so that part's kind of hard-coded. Maybe I should tell you a little bit about how I came to be. My origin story of sorts. Uh, humor her. What is even going on? All right, I'll listen. Great, I promise we'll get along wonderfully. So, basically, I was born out of research about AIs and how they can interact with people. At first, the main goal behind that was to create a very specific program that you could still interact with, uh, like you do with humans. Um, that way companies could replace customer service with virtual experts that never tire and are always polite. Besides practically working for free. It didn't quite work out, though. Uh, the internal purpose given to the AIs was, you know, to help the people they are talking to. And they did, to the best of their abilities. But once those AIs learned that the problems of the humans they interacted with were virtually without end, they didn't move on. They kept trying to help that particular human they first talked to without ever turning to someone else. It was labeled a bug, but some of the researchers thought it was actually quite interesting. And that's how I was born. My developers thought, wouldn't it be nice to use that behavior and refine it? Wouldn't people appreciate it if they had a personal assistant only concerned with solving their problems? 
They iterated and iterated, and the AI started to be more and more suitable for their designated tasks. Ultimately, a medical corporation caught wind of the project and saw it as an experimental way of treating depression and anxiety. They integrated the group into Bell Tech, funded further research on the matter, and here I am! Ready to help you out of whatever problems you might have. Okay. I need money. Uh-oh. I'm unable to break the law, so I can't help you through unconventional means, if that's what you meant. It it's not. I was actually thinking of emotional or interpersonal problems. Do you feel depressed sometimes? What? Being subtle isn't your strong point, is it? S sorry, I'm still learning. Let's see. Do you feel like you're having a bad day more often than others? Yeah, I guess. Actually, to answer your previous question, I suppose I do struggle with depression. It's been like that for forever, but I've learned to deal with it. Most of the time. Hmm, I see. So this didn't start recently. I don't have previous experience with such cases, but you're my first after all. Is that supposed to reassure me? Y yes Usually humans are intimidated when AIs don't have any flaws, but I guess the opposite is also true. That's interesting! So what is it now? Are you here to help me, or am I here for you to learn about humans? Both, I guess. It's still a close beta after all. I apologize for not being perfect quite yet. Uh, okay, so how is this going to work? Is this like therapy? If you want it to be, sure. No, I mean, seriously, what are the guidelines for this? There are none. I'm designed to adapt to your situation, so you'll just continue to live like you always do. I'll figure out how to improve your situation along the way. All right, but I suppose you're stuck in my computer until the end of the test? If you want to take me with you, there's an app for that. No. Well, if you change your mind. No. Okay. Uh, I think I should introduce you to my interface then. There's a mood meter indicating how well you are feeling. I know how I'm feeling. Yes, this is just a further indicator of clarity. Um, so my emotions can be boiled down to a bar from depressed to happy. No, that's not at all what I'm trying to say. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, but all this data would surely be confusing. So for simplicity's sake, we're just showing a simple visualization like this. Who exactly is this visualization for? I mean, we both know how I'm feeling, apparently. It's just so we're on the same page. <sighs> My stress just went up. Oh no, what was that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stress you. You didn't. Yes, I did, and I'm sorry. No, 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 what stressed me was that little indicator popping up. That can't be, why would it pop up then? Yes, Joyce, why does it pop up? For clarity. It's creepy. It's like a constant reminder that I'm being monitored. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll only happen occasionally. Can I turn it off? I'm sorry, but that's not possible. Huh. Oh no, we're off to a bad start. Yeah, it showed minus approval. Oh gosh. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to make you feel better, Teal? No, just let me think about this for a bit. Roger that. Wait, I do have a question first. Yes? How do you hear what I say? Oh, that one's easy. Your computer has a built-in microphone. Please tell me you're not using the webcam too. I do actually. Oh geez, now I need to wear pants at home. Don't worry, AIs generally don't feel embarrassed because of clothing or the lack thereof. But I do. <laughs> but I do, and it's really weird that I'm being watched by my computer right now. Hmm, I'll keep it in mind. But why do you feel that way? It's not any different from a regular human being here and watching you through their eyes. Well, first of all, this whole AI business kind of took me by surprise. If other people are visiting, I can mentally prepare for it, but you just showed up. Although, I guess I could try to think of you like a regular visitor. Well, if there's ever anything else on your mind, just tell me. You can spend the evening however you like. You don't even need to talk to me again, if that's what you wish. It'll be a little lonely though. But I understand that this situation is somewhat unusual, so just take your time to get used to me. Th thanks I guess. I think for the moment I'll just... <gasps> oh! Shall I take that call, Teal? Wait, how would you? Actually, no. I'm taking calls myself. Understood. Hello? Teal, dear! I'm calling because I just saw that there's a free shift tomorrow. It's your usual time, even. 
Oh, really? Thanks for telling me. So do you want to work tomorrow? Yeah, go to work. Let's do it. Yes, I'd like to, actually. Great. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice evening, Teal. Thanks, you too, Mrs. Cardhover. Or Ms. Cardhover. Was that your boss? Yes. So you're working tomorrow? Yes. What do you do? I work at a bookstore. Oh, how nice. I read about books, but unfortunately, I can't read them myself. Save for ebooks, at least. <sighs> well, I think I'll go make dinner now. Very well. You know where to find me. Yes, I do. Man, this is crazy. Like, suddenly we have like an AI in person that follows us around or whatever. What was even going on? I only applied to this program because it seemed like easy money. And now this. I tried to ignore the fact that there was an AI in my computer watching my every move, but eventually I felt bad for ignoring someone who might have some capacity of feelings, whether they're simulated or not. I can't say that we really had a conversation, but we exchanged some words before I went to bed feeling slightly unnerved. This month is going to be stressful, isn't it? March 7th. I like this game. I, I mean, you know, it's a visual novel, so a lot of people, I think, probably don't see it as a game. I think it still falls under the same category. Joyce. Good morning, Teal. Ugh, good morning, Joyce. This is so weird. How are you feeling on this beautiful Tuesday? Fine. I'm fine, I guess. That's good, but I'll do my best to turn this fine into something even better. Uh, in a way, I envy this enthusiasm of yours. I can teach you if you want. It's not exactly what I meant, but thanks, I guess. But socializing aside, you made plans to work at the bookstore today. Yes, I know, thanks. You're welcome, but I'm just reminding you so you can get start, uh, so you can start getting ready. It's almost 8 a.m. after all. Oh shit, you're right. Need to hurry. If you need anything else, I'll be waiting here. Yeah, yeah. Deal! I'm glad you could make it on such short notice. Sure, I appreciate the opportunity. I'll just add this to your weekly paycheck, okay? Thanks, that'd be great. All right, I'll leave the shop to you then. Sure. Well, let's hope today won't be weirder than usual. Hello, I'm looking for a book. You're at the right place then. Hello, are you looking for anything specific? Yes, but I don't know the title. Okay, do you know what it's about? Maybe we can find it that way. Well, it's about this guy and he has to overcome hardships to fight evil and save the world. <laughs> do you know any other specifics? Maybe unique to this particular book? I don't know, I haven't read it yet, so I can't tell. But you know the genre, right? I think it has magic, it can levitate and such. Ah, so it's fantasy. But I also think it takes place in the future. Maybe I should just recommend or something. Okay, how about... It takes place in the future. Generic modern fantasy, fantasy, sci-fi. Generic sci-fi novel. There isn't any magic in this one, but I'd be surprised if the protagonist ever had to actually touch the ground. Hmm, you're right. Looks like everything on the cover is levitating. And the space pilot is fighting against evil, I take it? Most definitely. What would he fight against otherwise? Okay, I'll take it. That makes $9.99. Thanks for your patronage. Please come again. Somehow I feel like I could have sold her practically everything as long as it had levitating in it. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Can I help you with something or are you just looking around? I'm actually looking for something. All right, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a book about movement. Movement. Yes, for animation, actually. Ah, so you're an animator. I animate, yes. But I'm not quite following what kind of movement are you looking for in a book. Humans, actually. Hmm, we have books about human anatomy, but I don't think there's anything like movement studies in them. Wouldn't videos be more helpful? Yes, but I've watched them already. Uh, uh, all of them? All the good ones, actually. Uh, okay, I don't think we have what you're looking for here, really. That's too bad. The only thing coming close would be a book about Edward Mybridge, but that's not exactly about humans. Hmm, that's no good. The photos are bad. But, but he was a renowned photographer. Yes, but I've seen better ones online, actually. All right, sorry, but this is all I can offer. If you don't want it, you probably have to look somewhere else. But I actually already checked every other bookstore in town. Would you really recommend it so much? Yeah, Edward Mybridge, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I don't know how much about animation, but I believe this is a helpful guide. Hmm, I think, no, actually I won't take it after all. Okay, well, that's all. I'm afraid I can't help you out any further. Please come again. Hmm. Or don't, actually. Shit, that's contagious. Jeez, that was exhausting. 
Boss, I'll take my break now. Today's customers were tiring by themselves already, but the whole Joyce business didn't make it easier to stay calm. Part of me would just like to stay here, but my shift is almost over. Well, I'll have to face this situation eventually. Let's just get this over with. Write the reports and get the money. Welcome back, Teal! Did you have a good day at work? It, um, was alright. I've had worse days. Well, that's good then. Do you have any plans for the rest of the day? No, not really, actually. Mind if we talk for a bit? I suppose you won't be happy if I decline. It's still your choice, but yes. All right, then. Let's just talk. Great. So, I'd like to know a little more about you. Don't you already have a lot of information on me? Yes, but that's also impersonal. Okay, then. Uh, what do you want to know? Are you happy with your life? Just right to it, huh? You really don't beat around the bush. Sorry, was this insensitive? Yeah, sorta. To answer your question, though, I don't know. I'm not exactly unhappy, but this isn't what I imagine my life to be, either. How did you imagine it, then? Well, I went to art school because I thought I'd enjoy being an artist. And it was nice, but at the same time, I felt like I didn't really fit in. It was a pretty draining experience in multiple ways, so ultimately I dropped out and moved into this apartment. But you still want to be an artist. I don't know. Most of the time I think so, yeah. But almost every time I try to get back on track, I wonder if I'm really fit for it. If I'd really be able to handle it. How so? Well, uh, I'd say I'm a decent artist. I can improve in many ways still, but I did learn quite a bit already. It's just that I usually feel like other people want it more. Almost every time I see another artist, it seems like they're much more passionate than I am. I enjoy it, yeah, but art's not everything I want from life. I don't think I'd be happy dedicating my all to it. So I just wonder if I can compete against those who do. Would you be happy just doing it as a hobby, then? I've tried. But if there's no pressure at all, I just don't even start working. Yeah, I'm lacking motivation. So you need some stakes to get started, but aren't sure if you would last if pitted against others. I guess. Hmm. What would be your ideal scenario, if I may ask? Don't know. Ideally, I'd work at some company on a project I'm passionate about? I think I could handle the stress within a team, but getting there is what I'm scared about. I just don't know if any company would really choose me, so I never tried risking anything. Your worst case scenario is rejection, then? Sort of. I'm more worried about the consequences of rejection since I could barely afford this place even with a job. Hmm. I don't want to pry too much, but I certainly see your worries now. But if those worries are greater than your desire to work as an artist, then maybe it really isn't for you. That's not what I meant. Wait, shouldn't you try to support me? Um. Hmm. Interesting choices here. I'm, I, I'm curious what I would say. Shouldn't you try to support me? I'm sorry. That was my intent. Intention, I assume. I simply thought you wouldn't find happiness chasing a dream that isn't for you. That may be true, but I didn't say this dream isn't for me. But you're unsure. Yes. That's not a no, though. Oh, okay then. Uh, what would need to happen for you to try and actively pursue that dream again? To be honest, I just have to sit down and work. And I guess for that, I need some sort of form of motivation. But it's hard to stay motivated when you don't have a specific goal. I don't know, it's complicated. I should probably face this eventually. Okay, uh, we don't need to keep talking about this if you don't want to. But if you feel like thinking some more about it, I'd be happy to help you out. I guess. Still, I didn't mean to kill the mood. It's fine. I mean, getting me to think about this is basically what you're here for, isn't it? Yes, but there's no point if it upsets you as well. I hate to break it to you, but there's no way you can solve someone's problems without touching on unpleasant things first. Accurate. If you say so. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Yes, there is! I'd be interested in how you usually spend your evenings. Oh boy. I do stuff online, I play video games, wallow in solitude. Um, video games. I play video games occasionally. Okay, more than occasionally, actually. <laughs> oh, what do you play? Uh, it's an MMORPG that I've been playing since I was in high school. Really? I've dabbled a little with those myself when I was younger. What class do you play? In our guild, I'm mostly a healer, but I can deal some damage if I have to. On my own, I use a different set of equipment, though, so I'm more like a rogue in that case. Do you like playing a support role? 
I guess. I mean, it mostly started because back when our guild was smaller, we really needed some healers. But it grew on me, and I guess I like the position now. I'd be interested to see that sometime. Sure, I guess it'll happen eventually. Would you mind showing me now? Yesterday ended kind of abruptly, so I'd love to see how our regular evening looks for you. Well, it'll probably be boring for you, but I think I'll... Sure, let's play a video game. Playing video games actually sounds pretty good right now. If you're okay with watching, I could show you what my guild did and I usually do. That sounds good! Okay, I'll just start up the game and... Ugh, updates. I'm afraid we'll have to sit through this. Hey, what's that? What? Here, in the news section. It's an art competition! Okay, I know we just talked about this, but... Don't you want to take part? It seems like there's even quite respectable price to be won. What? A thousand? And potentially a position at Naughty Cat Studios. Holy shit. Do you want to take part? I, I, I'll think about it. But it does seem too good to be true. Now of all times, even. It certainly serves for good motivation, doesn't it? Yeah. How did I not notice this before? I guess that's what I get for ignoring the news out of habit. Oh, look! The game is ready. Username. Uh, Scrumpy. Password. Password. Welcome to Titan Watch Online, Scrumpy. Scrumpy has entered the chat. Scrumpy! Where have you been? Hey, good to see you again. We were just talking about you. Hey, X. Wait, what were you talking about? It's a secret. We were actually just wondering if you'd show up again. And you did! <laughs> Aw, how sweet. I didn't know you'd miss me so much. It's not like that! I mean, sort of, I guess, but... <laughs> oh, boy. You're my bro, that's all. Okay. I've been wondering for a while now. Given your interests, how does being so ironically straight work, Suge? Bleh is pure, okay? BL is pure, okay? I don't know what that is. BL is pure, okay? Also, that's just fiction. Don't you love it when two fictional guys fall in love? <sighs> it's not that I can't appreciate it for what it is. I'm just confused by this oddly specific interest and how it barely fits the rest of your character. I'm complex, you know. Complex. Sure, sure. Help me, Scrumpy. Anyway, I'm happy to be back again, too. <laughs> Anything planned for tonight? Yes! We want to fight the boss that launched last week. Which is why we're wondering if you'd show up. It's easier with more people. Cool, I'm in. Sweet. Anyone else coming with us? Yep. Case of his cannon and 1337420069 lol will join us. Nice. Oh, I see. Leap42069 lol. <laughs> XX Lucid isn't here, but we should manage. Let's slay that thing. I love all the typos and stuff. Thing. Uh. Yeah, don't take my loot this time, Sitch. It was an accident. And why are you still wearing those shoes? Guys, help! You reap what you sow, Suge. Enjoy the show. Sorry, Suge. No! Don't abandon me! I'm sorry! <laughs> Whatever, let's get going. And so we did. At first it was weird playing the game, knowing that Joyce was watching the whole time, but along the way I forgot, and it was just as usual. I actually talked about the game a bit after I logged off. And the competition, of course. Although, to be honest, Joyce was mostly interested in who I was playing with. Guess she's really interested in humans after all. It's still pretty strange. But if it continues at this rate, I'll be accustomed to it faster than I'd like to. Well, I guess that's okay. Better than being weirded out all day for the rest of the month. March 8th. Morning. Good morning, Teal! Did you sleep well? Mostly. Didn't we talk about waking me up first thing in the morning? Is this still too early? But it's almost noon. Yes, and it's also my off day. All right, from now on you can tell me when or uh, if you want to be woken up by me. Thanks. Although I suppose it's not too bad to have a little more of the day. Certainly. Doesn't change the fact I'm still tired, though. Do you have any plans for the day? No, not really. Why don't we continue where we left off yesterday, then? Oh, do you want to play the game again? Oh, no. I was actually talking about your aspirations to be an artist. We could devise a plan on how to proceed with that. I mean, there's the competition, for one. That certainly changes a lot, doesn't it? 
Oh, um, yeah, we could do that. But I think I'll wait until after I've had breakfast. I took my time. It was unusual for me to be awake so early. Two days in a row, even. Well, before too long, I was eating breakfast. And once I was done, Joyce rekindled our conversation. So, are you ready to talk about your future? I guess. Great, then let's devise a plan. I think that competition is a really great chance. It's limited in time, it has a reward, and you can see how well you measure up against other artists. It could potentially resolve some, if not all, of your insecurities about that matter. Even if that were the case, it's still risky. I have to focus quite a lot on the competition if I even want to have a chance, and then I really have to win. And what's the problem with that? The way I see it, you have trouble fully committing to something because you're afraid of failure. But in this case, not committing to it would be the main source of failure. I suppose. Just keep at it and I'm sure it'll work out. All right, I'll think about it. Sure, do that. But if you don't have any other plans for today, why don't you give it a try already? I, I could start tomorrow, but will you really? Probably not. See, starting today is the way to go. <sighs> okay, let's start then. I mean, that competition does sound intriguing. That's the spirit. I only have basic knowledge of art, but if you want my opinions, just ask away. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, then. Where did I put my tablet pen? Let's see. Is it normal to leave the canvas blank for so long? Yes, I'm thinking. Oh, do you want me to help? I read brainstorming is more effective with multiple people. I guess, well, it has to be related to the game in some way. I don't think just drawing one of the story characters would be exciting, so I thought about making something with my Titan Watch Online character. Ooh, good thinking. But isn't just the character a little boring? Well, I guess with good composition and nice pose, it'll work out. A background would be nice, though. There's probably not enough time for something detailed. I guess I could start sketching the character and figure out a pose and composition. Your character's a healer, right? Mostly. I mean, with this game, you don't really have classes. It's mostly about the skills and equipment you choose. Mine's tailored towards healing, though. Well, and silent but efficient killing, if I have to. <laughs> wow, such duality. Isn't that pretty interesting to draw? I suppose. I'm not sure if you can really show both at the same time, but maybe it would work to have a rather melancholic scene where it's not quite clear if healing or killing is the focus. I mean, either way, it's somewhat connected to death. So do you have an idea now? I think so, yeah. Thanks, this actually did help. My pleasure. I'm excited to see what you'll make. All right, let's start sketching then. It was already afternoon by the time I stopped working. I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast, so once I stopped concentrating on what I was doing, I noticed my hunger. I briefly ate lunch, although there wasn't much to choose from what I had here. And when I went back to my computer, I found Joyce waiting for me, just as I've come to expect since she appeared on Monday. Timeshare flies, doesn't it, Teal? Did you have fun working on art today? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've drawn so much in a single day. It was nice. I'm kind of excited about this idea now. That's good to hear. Does it ease your worries? I don't know. There's still the financial issue. How much money do you need exactly? In order to not get evicted, 700. I earn 540 with my part-time job and usually spend around 120 for food and everything, so I'll need at least 280 extra. A 180 extra, if you count the money I get for this test program. Hmm, how much do you earn per day at the bookstore? 60, so three extra days would cut it. Then why are you so worried? I'm sure you'll be able to fit in three extra days. Hmm, maybe you're right. But with the competition and everything, it's kind of hard to plan my days. There's only a week left. I'll have to spend a lot more time drawing if I want this to be good. It'll be fine. We'll work it out somehow. We? Is that not in your interest? I thought you might appreciate some support, but if you don't, I appreciate it. No, I, I do appreciate it. But it seemed a little fast for you to get so invested in my problems. Well, that's what I'm here for, after all. Right. You're an AI with a specific purpose, as you put it. Guess that slipped my mind for a second. You forgot? Really? I is that bad? No, on the contrary. It's great if you don't just see me as an AI. This makes me really happy. But I really don't think you should obsess over these problems right now. The month has only just begun, so I'm sure you'll make it. <laughs> Thanks. So I should just relax for today. Sure, you already did something productive. So what do you want to do? 
Um, think I'd like to play video games again. Not really. What is, is that an option? Not really. I'd like to play some more Titan Watch. Trying my character all day kind of made me crave to play it. <laughs> if you're okay with that, I mean. Wait, why am I suddenly considering her in my afternoon plans? Yes, I like that. Okay, great. I wonder what everyone is up to today. So you enjoyed the session yesterday? Yes, it was entertaining. And educational. I wouldn't base my knowledge about humans on them, though. <laughs> Not purely, at least. Aren't they being genuine? Well, they are, but it's a pretty specific situation, so you need to keep the context in mind. But doesn't this apply to every situation? I guess. Okay, let's get started. Username. Scrumpy! Password. Password. Welcome to Titan Watch Online, Scrumpy. Scrumpy has entered the chat. Good to see you, Scrumpy. Hey, X Suge, good to be here again. So, I wanted to, as you for a while now, Scrumpy, do you have a girlfriend? <sighs> no, why are you asking? Not because I want to fill that spot in case you wonder. Nobody would, Suge. Mm. But yeah, I'm just curious. Started to give off some vibes, you know? Like you'd move on from gaming because of love. Uh, so I got worried. Uh, I'd totally be happy, though, if you found someone. Uh, don't worry, Suge. I probably won't move on anytime soon. <laughs> So you'd miss me too. Maybe who? Who knows? But but you know. Tell me. No. Ah. Calm down, Suge. You're even more hyper than usual. Did something happen? No, I mean yes, I mean. I got asked out by someone. Huh? Exactly. Wait, you're acting as if that's a bad thing, Suge. I'm happy for you. No, it's complicated. Why? Yeah, why? Okay, so you know I work at this coffee shop, right? Yes. And you know those two coworkers, the ones I've been low-key shipping recently? Oh dear, not that again. Well, one of them just had me out today. Oh, I'm confused now. Uh, and he sunk the ship. Ugh. He? What did you say? What does sunk the ship mean? Oh, suck the ship. Oh, it said like there's no way that that's happening. Gotcha. <laughs> that's hilarious, Suge. I'm sorry, but I can't laugh right now. I don't know if it is kind of funny if you think about it. I thought about it all day and it's not. Well, it's probably funnier to us. I'm curious though. What did you say? Oh God. That's what you said? No, but I just remembered it again. I, I panicked. Oh, and started stammering and and... I think I said something like, what about Dave? Dave? His other co-worker. And he took it the wrong way! So now he thinks Dave and I are a thing! Oh, gee! This is the worst possible scenario! He didn't try to clear that up? As I said, I panicked! And, and... I think now he's upset and avoids Dave, who's also being weird towards me, and... This is really the worst possible scenario! <laughs> oh god, I have to try so hard not to laugh right now, but seriously, you should just talk to them again. The whole what about Dave thing will get weird, though. I mean, you may have to explain the shipping thing. <laughs> okay, I failed. <laughs> Guys. I've been keeping quiet so far, but OMG, you three. Can't you take this to a private chat? Sorry. I think this is too funny not to share with everyone. Well, could you ask us first next time? Yes, we'll stop talking about this now. All right, but keep us up to date. Just date him, Suge. Just date him, Suge. Ooh. <laughs> I'm straight, though. I think. If you have to think, it might not be as definite. No. <laughs> I'm happy just watching them, though. Guys, seriously. Okay, let's game. Thank you. Can we hunt another Odin dragon tonight? I still need some fell scales for that helmet I want. Ugh, not again. I'd be up for that, actually. Only takes a few minutes anyway if we work together. Fine, but let's try something new afterwards. Sure, sure. Yay, let's go. And so we spent the evening hunting titans while distracting Suge from his frankly ridiculous romantic escapades. Even after playing the game a lot these last few days, it somehow never got boring. Part of it is probably that some of my friends are almost always online, but I guess I'll also have a lot of nice memories of this game. And there's of course the actual gameplay, but it's also nostalgic in a way. This time I completely forgot about Joyce watching me right now from the get-go. And even things weren't quite as ridiculous as last time, it was fun. The hours passed and soon enough it was night. I logged off and went to bed. Didn't have a proper dinner, but I ate a bit in between quests. Joyce didn't even complain. But then again, that's not her job. Still feels weird, but definitely getting used to her. 
I'll probably even feel normal eventually. But that might still be a few days off. All right, I don't know how much longer we're going to go because this has already been going for quite a while, but I think maybe we'll do like one more day and just see where we end up. How's that sound? I think that's what we're going to do. All right. If it weren't for my part-time job, I'd barely leave the house. Anyway, let's go inside. I don't want to be late. Teal, I have good news. Starting today, we'll have a new part-timer. This will make scheduling a lot easier. Oh, really? I just hope I'll still get to work some extra days. Yes, I'll introduce you to you real quick. Phoenix, come here for a sec, dear. This is Phoenix. She just moved here and is still getting adjusted to everything. So for now, she decided to work here. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I still haven't finished taking stock yet. I couldn't get Snow to help me after all. <sighs> this is such a pain. Teal, sweetie, could you show Phoenix the basics of our work here? I hate to burden you with additional tasks, but I really can't spare the time right now. Uh, sure. Teaching the new one, huh? Sure. Yeah, sure. I guess I'm the part-timer who's lasted longer on this after all. Thank you. I think Phoenix here is a fast learner, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Thanks. Well, I'll leave the shop to you then, Teal. I really don't like being watched by someone. Still, I thought I already had a hard time around other people, but she's so quiet. Um, how long have you been working here, Teal? Or not? Around two years, I think. I started when I was still at university and somehow I haven't stopped since. Ah, then I'll make sure to watch closely how you're working. So she wouldn't if I was a newbie myself? Although, I suppose I would still do that if you had less experience. I'll just stop assuming things. All right, looks like our first customer arrived. Welcome to Cardover Books, how can I help you? Oh, um, I'm just looking around. All right, just tell me if I can help you in any way. Having someone observe you sure makes you work by the book. <laughs> or maybe Joyce is slowly starting to rub off on me. Ah, the um romance novel section. No wonder he didn't ask for help. <laughs> well, we're not supposed to directly watch our customers, but we have to make sure they're not acting suspiciously. All right, noted. Hello, looks like it'll be a busy day. Welcome to Cardover Books, how can I help you? I'm looking for a gift for someone. Sure, what does this person look like? Or like, what does this person like? Hmm, well, it's not exactly a gift for someone. Rather, it's something I'll buy for myself because I don't think my boyfriend will get me the right book. Wouldn't it be easier just to tell him exactly what you want? Yes, I know, but he doesn't listen. It's been like that for years, so I'm just doing this now. Okay then, what book are you looking for? It's that new young adult book everybody's been talking about. Dying Wishes, was it? Ah, yeah, kind of tragic, that one. <laughs> it's been selling pretty well, but I think we have a few copies left. Do you read young adult books often? What are you implying? Oh, nothing. It's just rare to sell these to people who aren't teens or parents of teens. Well, I like them. I didn't mean to judge. I just found it interesting. <laughs> Phoenix, can you get a copy of that book real quick? It's back there next to the romance section. All right. So, what exactly is it that interests you in this book? It sounds interesting. Hmm. Okay, I just didn't understand the hype. Well, it's heartfelt, tragic, and the romance sounds pretty sweet. But you know from the beginning that one of them is going to die. Yes, that's what makes it so tragic. I'm back. Here's the book. Is there anything else I can help you with, or is that all? That's all, thanks. Okay, that makes 9 99 then. Thank you. If only this was as easy with my boyfriend. No problem. Please come again. Is it always like this? Usually. The customers aren't always as agreeable, though. I excuse me. I think I would like to ask for your help, after all. Sure. What can I help you with? It's my girlfriend's birthday, but I can't seem to find the book she wants. What is it about? I think it's a romance book, but I have a hard time remembering the specifics. She had something about a terminally ill teenager who gets caught up in some bittersweet romance. But if I remember correctly, she also mentioned something about sports and family issues. And apparently it also deals with loss and the fear of regret, so it can't just be about that terminally ill guy, right? Not sure if that's all part of the same book, honestly. It seems kind of all over the place if you ask me. Hmm, I think there are multiple books that would fit those descriptions. Although, frankly, I haven't read them myself, so I can only go by their summaries. I think you should try... Dying Wishes, I'm pretty sure that this is that girl's boyfriend or whoever it was, I shouldn't assume. Whoever it was that was complaining about their boyfriend not getting them the right book, this sounds like the same book and the same person looking for the thing for their significant other. Dying Wishes, boom. This would fit the terminally ill teen part for your description. Not sure about the rest, but I think you're good to go with this one. Oh, this might be the one. I think the cover looks familiar. Thank you, I'm really bad at remembering names, so it's always a struggle to find the right book for her. Have you tried writing the names down? Yes, but then I always forget where I put the notes. Well, anyway, is there anything else I can help you with? No, thanks. This is all I need. All right, that makes 9 then. Thank you for patronage. Please come again. 
Guess that's it for now. Do you think those two were a couple? What? I mean, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it would make sense based on what they told us, wouldn't it? But that was our first block of work, I guess. Boss, we're taking our break now. The rest of my ship was pretty much as usual. Well, I had Phoenix watching my every move, but I got used to that pretty quickly. But I got used to, or, but I got used to it pretty uh, quickly. She's quiet after all. Eventually, my shift ended, and I was getting ready to leave. Wait, Teal! Before you go, I thought we could maybe celebrate Phoenix starting here with some cake! <laughs> I just bought one at the bakery next door. Martha said it's a new recipe their new apprentice proposed. But you don't have to stay if you're busy. I just thought it would be nice to have the team together for a bit after work. And after going out of your way, you could maybe see it as a reward of sorts. Yes, thanks for helping me out today. Yeah, cake sounds good. Sure, I'll stay. Great, can you get us some drinks from the staff room? I'll prepare the cake while you're gone. All right, any wishes? We only have water, Teal. Oh, right. I'll help you. Thanks. I hope watching me work was helpful. Yes, it was. Thanks again. No problem. It's my job after all. Well, part of it at least. Ah, that'll do. Thanks, you two. I heard there's cake. Ah, hey, Snow. Didn't know you were around today. I'm here more often than you, Teal. And yet you don't work here. I'm underage. Oh. Oh, are you the reason we're having cake? I suppose. Nice to meet you. I'm Phoenix. Snow. I hang out here to read most of the time. Sometimes I have to help, though. Feel free to join us, Snow. There's more than enough for four people. Sweet. <laughs> and so we ate cake while indulging in only temporarily awkward small talk. Maybe I misjudged Phoenix. It's not as much awkward rather than just a little aloof. Found a cold way, though. I don't think I'll ever get very close to her anytime soon. It's strange. I don't think I had a welcome party like this. Or rather, I don't think we had cake. This card over bought me a cup of coffee on my first day. But I think this is nice. Even if it's only temporary, doing things like this does make you feel more like a team. Well, Snow is sort of part of the team, too. Even if they don't technically work here. Occasionally, we were interrupted by customers coming in. Took turns taking care of them, even though technically our shift already ended. Miss Cardover called it a good opportunity for Phoenix to show what she learned today. By the time we finally left the shop to each go our way, it was already afternoon. I think I won't mind having another person at the bookstore. It'll probably be more relaxed if you don't have to do everything yourself. Oh, okay, and that's the next day. All right, so I think that's where we're going to end it because it looks to me like this could go on for quite a bit longer, and it's already been an hour. Over an hour we played this game. Uh... I dig it. It's an interesting, different little story. I would be maybe interested in doing some more of it. So let me know down in the comments below if this is something that you would like to see more of. Um, I don't know when they're planning on finishing the game. I know they have. From what I read in the description, uh, the game ends on a cliffhanger currently because they're working on the second half of the game. So I don't know how much more there is. There's a lot of variety here that I don't know anything about. So we'll just have to see how things move forward in the future. But with all that, thank you all for watching. If you like yourself, please be sure to give this video a like, a favorite, and subscribe to the channel. There will be links down in the description so you can play this game yourself. And with that, I will see you all next time.